Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I am the founder of Wise Up and I have three research papers published in high quality journals. In this video, I am going to handhold you through the entire process of publishing your paper in Scopus and Web of Science journals. We are going to talk about how to choose your journals, how to check for indexation, how to make sure these journals are unpaid, have less publishing time and good acceptance rate and finally clear some very common doubts around publishing that most of you get. I am also going to share with you an AI tool that will help you find relevant journals and get your research papers ready in no time. So without further delay, let's get started. Now the most common question I get on my videos is, can you suggest some journals for me in the field of data science or can you suggest some journals for me in psychology? So today we are going to talk about how to choose journals so that next time you don't have to ask anyone to do it for you. First you need to understand is that journals are very field specific. So the journal I publish in might not be relevant for you and vice versa. So based on your research, you need to shortlist the journal accordingly. Now the first step here is to go through your own literature. While doing your research, you must have downloaded a lot of research papers, right? So open those research papers and see in which journals were those papers published in because high chances that they will closely relate to your field. Another thing you can do is that if you've already written a draft of your research paper, put that up on the AI tool Jenny and then check for citation popovers. That will also show you some relevant journals in which those papers were published in. Now make a list of all the journals that you find from your literature and the AI tool Jenny. Now these are only a handful of journals. There can be so many other journals out there which publish related to our field. So how are we going to find that? We are going to find them using journal recommender tools. So the first journal recommender tool is the journal finder by editage. Simply go to their website and either paste your entire abstract or write the name or ISSN number of the journal or simply type the topic in which you are doing your research. And after that you will see that the tool will recommend a list of journals for you. It's going to show you who is the publisher, whether these journals are indexed or not, what is their side score, H index, impact factor and all those details will be given to you. Now apart from this journal recommender, all major publishing houses like Elsevier, Taylor & Francis, IEEE have their own journal recommender tools as well. But they are going to suggest you journals only from their own publication houses. Okay, so keep that in mind. And finally, you can also use tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity, put your abstract on them and then ask it to suggest some journals for you. So now if you follow all the steps, which is going through your literature, using the AI tool Jenny, then using journal recommender tools by Editage, different publication houses, and then finally using tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity, you will have a long list of journals which closely relate to your field. Now it is very important to double confirm whether that particular journal publishes research in our field or not. So how will we do that? We will go to each individual journal website and then scroll to the aim and scope section. And if you see here, they clearly list down all the topics that they publish in in that particular journal. So if our topic is present, we keep that journal in our list. Otherwise, if our topic is not present, we remove that journal from our list. This step is very important because it will prevent our paper getting rejected by the journals later on. So now we have the list of journals, but we have no idea whether they are Scopus or Web of Science indexed or not. So how will we find that? Keep watching. So first let's understand what is indexation and why is it even important. Certain organizations like Elsevier and Clarivate have taken out a list of journals which are reputed, are not fake or predatory and publish decent quality papers. These lists are called as indexations. So the list by Elsevier is called as Scopus indexation and the list by Clarivate is called as Web of Science indexation, which is further broken down into smaller lists such as Science Citation Index Expanded, Social Sciences Citation Index, etc. So if a journal is present in the Scopus list, it is called as Scopus Index, while if the journal is present in the Web of Science list, it is called as Web of Science Index. Both these lists are different, while most journals overlap between them, 
there could be some journals which are present only in scopus while there could be some journals which are present only in web of science both are reputed so here what is important is you need to check with your university if they have any specific requirement in which you should be publishing in otherwise if your journal is present in one of these lists also you are good to go so now that we understand indexations how do we check that the journal we have chosen is scopus or web of science index or not very simple for scopus simply go to the scopus website and download the latest excel sheet from there here you can search for your journal name or type the issn number as well if your journal is present in the list it is scopus indexed for web of science simply go to their website and type the journal or issn number if the journal is present there then it is web of science indexed Now there are various journal metrics such as impact factor, site score, SJR, SNP that you should consider before publishing as well. But that's a whole other story. So if you want me to make a video on it, then hit the like button and comment below journal metrics. If I have over fifty comments, then I will make a detailed video on it. So now that we know our journals are indexed, how do we know whether they are free or paid? how much time do they take in publishing do they have a good acceptance rate well let's find out all you need to do is go to the journal website for example here i'm going to the journal page of applied surface science by elsevier now if you see here the first thing that they have written here is it supports open access as well so what does this mean see most journals fall under two categories subscription or open access Subscription journals take money from the readers which is why you find most papers behind a paywall when you try to download them but have kept publication charges completely free for the authors on the other hand open access journals take money from the authors but keep it free for the readers hybrid journals are those which keep both type of publishing for example this one now most of you have this question so ma'am can you tell me whether the journal is paid or unpaid see no one can tell you this this is a search that you have to do yourself go to the journal website and see what type of journal it is if it's a subscription or a hybrid journal then it's going to be unpaid if it's a completely open access journal then it's going to be a paid journal understood now if you scroll down further you will see some important journal insights such as time to first decision which is 7 days here then review time submission to acceptance and then acceptance to publication So clearly this journal takes around 5 to 6 months to give you the decision and now it's up to you to decide whether that is good enough for you or if it's too long for you okay now if you click on more insights you will see that the acceptance rate is 15% which is quite less so what does this tell us that this journal has a very rigorous filtering criteria when publishing so if you actually manage to publish in such a journal then you will have more credibility your paper is going to have much more credibility so lower the acceptance rate more reputed that journal is higher the acceptance rate easier the journal is to publish in that means lower credibility of your work okay so keep all these things in mind as well when choosing your journal now this was all about trying to find journals which are scopus or web of science indexed are unpaid less publishing time good acceptance rate etc etc but The first step to publishing in a good journal is writing a high quality paper and for that you can use the help of the AI tool Jenny. With Jenny's help you can first create an outline of the paper that you're going to write that way you will have all the main sections included in the paper. After that you can improve your writing with some powerful AI commands such as improve fluency which can help you fix flow issues, remove any redundancy, paraphrase content that you are taking from other literature sources simplify the text to make it more academic or casual strengthen your arguments and even add counter arguments wherever necessary personally what i love about jenny is that you can cite the papers simultaneously while you write for that you can upload your literature into the library and then cite from there or you can search for the papers based on the context and then cite them directly from the web These features not only strengthen your paper but allow you to complete it faster and more efficiently. Now to start using the tool I've put the link and the discount coupon in the description below for you. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you've now got in complete clarity on how to publish your work in high impact journals.
Now, if you wish to learn how to write your research paper in detail, what is all the information you should include section by section, how to avoid plagiarism and what are the best AI tools you can use in the process, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research writing. The link and discount coupon in the description below for you. And now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.